Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. Blue Liquor Shields, Dust Lace, Hearts, Peasants, Vassals. I'm a useful idiot. Today I want to talk about laser weapon systems. And uh, the uh, huge step has taken place. The Navy has uh, released information about the successful shooting down of a drone with a laser weapon system mounted on a ship, the USS Dewey, out in the Persian Gulf. And um, this is quite a big deal and a huge step. We'll look back at this one day as a, a monumental shift. And this goes along with all the other uh, aspects of the U.S. military that are shifting into a more lean, mean machine. And uh, I'm, I'm interested in technologies like this because of the way they influence strategy and policy and tactics. And this weapon uh, certainly will do that. It's a real game changer. And uh, uh, this is, uh, can safely be classified as a historic event. And uh, so what are the advantages of a, a laser weapon system? Well, it travels at the speed of light, so there's no need to compensate for target movement. And uh, evasion is virtually impossible. And wind and gravity have, have negligible effects on it. The size of the projection can be adjusted, so you can adjust the lethality, leth lethality of this uh, this uh, machine. So it can either be a small uh, disabling beam or a killer destructive beam, and uh, anything in between. And it's essentially limitless ammunition, depending on how much um, electricity you have available. And uh, uh, missiles, of course, cost millions of dollars per shot, and they have the, uh, estimate the shot uh, cost of a shot from a laser weapon system at about a dollar. So a uh, real, uh, real uh, money saver there. Then uh, this uh, this laser weapon system also has zero recoil, and it has an operational range potentially even further than ballistics, measured in miles and not yards. And the uh, laser weapon system emits no sound or light, so it's not traceable by the enemy where this fire came from. And uh, it does have a few pitfalls. It's uh, difficult to keep cool. Um, it uses a, a great deal of electricity and power. And, uh, and particle and laser beams have a drawback in something called blooming, where the atmosphere itself uh, dissipates the uh, energy of the beam rain and fog and any other atmospheric changes can uh, affect it. And so they're uh, clearing up some of these problems and now have the first uh, mounted functional in the field laser weapon system. And that's why this is a big deal. And uh, they're working on all kinds of laser weapons, of course, handheld devices, which uh, obviously the challenge for cooling and uh, electrical power use are uh, uh, keeping handheld ones behind a little bit. But we... Uh, we have the high energy laser technology demonstrator developed by Northrop and Boeing that's a uh, truck mounted laser and that is to uh, take out incoming mortar rounds and, and the like and uh, we also have a, a system called HELADS and it's a uh, system developed for aircraft and it works on a turret and so it can uh, fire at in, any incoming projectiles coming at the uh, aircraft it's uh, liquid cooled, and uh, and uh, also the fact that uh, laser uh, beams, weapons, laser weapon systems um, that uh, can be mounted on the planes for for uh, aggressive tar uh, targeting as well. And uh, the background of lasers, of course, goes back at least 50, 50 some odd years, if not longer, if one considers the um, claims of the famous scientist Tesla, who was working on a death ray beam and um, a particle, <coughs> excuse me, a particle beam. And uh, Nazis were also working on all sorts of uh, uh, directed energy weapons and sonic weapons and microwave weapons. And uh, a lot of them reached the prototype stage. But uh, more recently, we've had uh, a focus because of. Uh, the technology becoming more uh, feasible and uh, of course the jump start for this this sort of weaponry was during the 80s during Reagan and the uh, strategic defense initiative or Star Wars program during the 80s and that's where a lot of uh, 
research money went into lasers. It initially found that uh, it was very difficult to uh, generate the amount of energy in a, a aircraft, for example, would need to have um, um, enough of systems equal to three or four or five, six refrigerators in order to compensate just for the weapon system. But you know, like everything else, um, that's got streamlined down. And there's all sorts of uh, other types of uh, particle beam weapons and laser beam weapons and plasma beam weapons and uh, sonic weapons. And so all these are being worked on simultaneously for both non-lethal and lethal warfare. One microwave weapon most people are familiar with now is the active denial microwave truck developed by Raytheon. That was used in Iraq and has also been used in the streets of uh, Canada and the United States during uh, demonstrations. And um, so a lot of these weapons can be used, uh, have dual use, which is important in uh, this era that we live in, I suppose, uh, where it can be used for domestic crowd control and also uh, high-tech uh, future warfare. So, uh, so there it is. I, I wanted to bring this up, and there's some interesting attachments. But uh, we now have a fully operational laser beam mounted on a United States ship, um, effectively integrated into the U.S. military now, and this is opening a gateway to uh, a huge paradigm shift in the military, including futuristic uh, laser beam weapons. And once they get uh, once they get uh, uh, perfected all the bugs worked out and everything being made very efficient and economic. We're going to find that uh, microwave and, and laser weapons and sonic and po uh, plasma weapons uh, will be uh, the wave of the future. We'll see more and more of that. And uh, uh, Ballistics will probably never go away. It's turned out to be a perfect killing machine, but uh, move over for the future because it is here. And this will go hand in hand with uh, drones and robotics. So in the future um, that so many science fiction writers uh, waxed about is coming true. Uh, Imagine uh, robotics, um, robots, um, robot insects, robot birds, robot drones, um, all over the world, and uh, carrying laser beams, no less. I'm a useful, useful idiot. Don't you be one, too.